the world is very harsh how can i protect my child from the world should i make the child strong or should i follow gentle parenting and be afraid that my child will become soft common questions by parents i am riri trivedi i am a therapist a parenting coach a researcher and a trainer today i am going to be talking about a very important trait that we all want to have in our children which is emotional resilience i have spoken extensively on what we should not do to our children so i have spoken a lot about childhood trauma and how it affects the child and the development of the child as an adult today i am going to be talking about this important trait that we need to work on using positive parenting tools to help our child face the world and that is called emotional resilience emotional resilience is the ability of the child to face challenges to face challenging situations and to come out of it successfully without feeling bogged down or without feeling defeated according to research the term resilience has been defined as the process of the capacity for or outcome of successful adaptation despite challenging situations or threatening circumstances so emotionally resilient children are those who are able to survive and thrive despite and in spite of whatever wrong has gone on in their environment and we often times look look at these people with admiration and awe that despite so many challenges even though they have childhood trauma even though they have gone through abuse they have managed to survive thrive stay confident and be functional in their life and relationship let us understand what are the common traits of emotionally resilient children and how as parents we can work towards making our children emotionally resilient the first trait of an emotionally resilient child is confidence emotionally resilient children are those who have the confidence that even if they fail even if they fall they will stand up learn from it and continue to strive so the ability and the ability to learn from mistakes is a very important trait and this comes with confidence so as parents how can we make our children confident the first thing is stop using toxic fear and toxic shame to discipline your children so of course it is good to educate your children about their mistakes about what can go wrong but avoid taking that to the extremes do not continuously criticize nag humiliate shame your child or induce fear and threats so that the child completely loses self confidence as parents we need to make the child feel safe and secure to express his or her own views which may be different from ours only then the child is going to be able to be confident not just about himself or herself but about their thoughts and opinions and this confidence is a very important trait of emotionally resilient children even a child who does not speak out in public he may be introverted he may be a shy child he may be okay in his own world that child can still have confidence so confidence does not mean going out there and speaking in front of people and going on the stage and performing confidence is when the child feels okay about himself or herself when the child is not scared to try out different things is not scared to make mistakes because the child knows that even if i make a mistake i will learn from it come out from it and continue so that is what is confidence and that is what we need to bring in our children this can only happen when you teach your children to learn from their mistakes and when you do not shame the child or blame the child the second important quality of emotionally resilient children is they have problem solving skills so these are the children who have the ability to think through what is the problem and what can they do about it and this is not something that just develops like that this develops in children when the parents give them the independence and the autonomy to make mistakes and to learn from them now if the parents jump to solve the child's problem every time a child has a problem the parent wants to solve it the parent will give solutions the parent will give options then the child is not going to learn problem solving skills a great way to le- teach problem solving skills to your children is by asking them questions so every time that there is a problem you need to ask your child what do you think about the problem what do you understand about this problem what are the different ways you can look at this problem is there one solution or are there multiple ways to solve the problem so when you ask the right type of questions you are allowing the child to think for himself or herself and this is how you develop problem solving skills amongst children also involvement 
involve them in the daily problems that happen in the house involve them in the problems small small age appropriate problems that they can solve on their own and that is how you can help them develop this important skill which is a very very important element of emotional resilience children do not learn problem solving skills when they are living through toxic fear so when they are always threatened and punished and abused that is when they shut down they do not want to think for themselves they do not have the ability or the confidence to use their intellect or their mind to solve problems so avoid using uh, extreme methods to discipline your children allow them to understand the problem first and then how to solve it that is the best way to work around the third important trait of emotionally resilient children is the ability to bounce back every time they have fallen so if a child has made a mistake failed in an exam or fallen down then emotionally resilient children are the ones who do not linger on it for too long but they continue to go forward in spite and despite of that and this is a trait that children also learn from the parents and the environment so even if parents themselves are you know going through struggles and bouncing back from it they are developing a more resilient attitude towards their own problems and challenges children are learning from the parents and children can develop this ability to bounce back as long as they have the confidence as long as they have the courage and they feel safe and secured in their family environment so as parents this is one more trait that you can help your child develop in order to build emotional resilience whenever a child makes a mistake do not blame the child you can always say that there will be one more time there will be a next time and you can always do better again this is how the child learns to bounce back from difficulties and challenges so instead of blaming the child and with every problem making it like it is the biggest problem on planet earth it is okay to tell your child to learn the lessons from that problem from that mistake and discuss ways to move forward so that it doesn't get repeated again the fourth quality of child who has emotional resilience is these are the children who are independent and autonomous so emotional resilience requires that children become independent in their thinking in their behavior and in their actions now when parents follow authoritarian parenting when they are helicopter parenting or overprotective parents they do not allow the child independence so for example a 1 or 2 year old child can eat by himself can fetch their own shoes or put back their toys but parents do not allow them to do that an 8 or 9 year old child knows how to do certain basic tasks help around in the house wash the dishes clean the plates uh do their own homework and face the consequences if the homework is not done parents sometimes are too protective or too scared they do not have the ability or the courage to see their children fail and fall and suffer and hence they are two steps ahead of the child they do not allow the child any independence and autonomy and this is what compromises their resilience so as a parent make sure that you give age appropriate independence to your child let your child make his or her own small small decisions based on the age give the child responsibility for little little tasks that he or she can do at home for himself and for the household and this is how you can make the child independent and even a teenager independent so teaching them independence is most important it is not great if your child keeps turning on to you to solve his or her problems as a parent we feel very good that our child cannot do without us but that is not a good quality whether it is friendships relationships homework projects food clothes activities children should have the independence to decide to independence and freedom to make mistakes to fall down to get hurt learn from it and come back a very important quality that our children must have in order to be emotionally resilient a lot of times parents own fears prevents them from giving independence to the child and parents project their own fears on the child which is not necessary so if the parent has gone through some difficult situations suffered something then the parents are over protective because they don't want their children to suffer but parents must remember that children have to have their own journey of making mistakes and falling in order to learn independence and be autonomy the last but not the least is emotional resilience also develops when the children have healthy social support so encourage your child to make friends to interact with many many different types of people who have different predispositions and different nature emotionally resilient children are the ones who can navigate through different types of social situations so these are the children who can talk 
and be at ease with any generation of adults it could be grandparents it could be their same peer group it could be parents it could be uncles aunts relatives or colleagues these are the kids who are confident about their social skills how do you develop this when children are small give them the exposure to all different types of people and social situations take them to family gatherings send them to relatives and friends homes where they learn to interact with different people some interactions may be good some may not be good and that's okay so do not try to insulate your child's environment and protect the child because that is doing a great disservice your child will not learn how to interact and navigate through different difficult social situations if you have always protected your child from that so give your child different types of interactions with different generations of people different types of people and encourage them to make friends and to be more and more social do not just focus on that exam and studies because social skills are a very important part of emotional resilience emotionally resilient people have a strong social support emotionally resilient kids also have strong coping structures which means they have the tools and the techniques to manage and balance their emotions well which means that whenever they are feeling low they can recognize their emotions and use tools and techniques to navigate through those difficult emotions so that they don't remain stuck in those so these are the kids who learn self care techniques or who are comfortable talking about their emotions they have an emotional vocabulary as a parent what can you do well talk with your child more and more about emotions listen to your children when they are talking ask them questions so that you make them feel heard and you allow them to express more and more not just about school and homework and friends but about their own inner world their emotions and teach them certain self regulation techniques that can help them to manage their emotions better some of the things that they can learn is eft tapping which can help them to regulate their emotions do see my video on that they can also learn self hypnosis guided imagery and visualization techniques like humming chanting which can help them relieve their stress release their negative emotions even techniques like journaling letter writing to themselves can also help so usually emotionally resilient children have a good self care routine they also are aware of healthy habits and that is what also makes them emotionally resilient there is a little research on emotional resilience there isn't much of research but whatever little research is there on emotional resilience says that basically emotional resilience is defined as the technique for self regulation which is gaining control over attention emotions and behavior and uh, if a child is able to modulate her emotions and behavior and can self regulate soothe and self calm then this child will have positive social interactions so as a parent uh, when you have a good connection with your child when you have used positive parenting skills and when you have focused on helping the child be confident develop problem solving skills be independent and also have an overall all round social development along with creative skills then your child is most likely to be emotionally resilient and these emotionally resilient children now will be able to face the stresses of the society parents need to focus on making their children strong and resilient versus focusing on trying to fix the environment for them because once the children become adults remember as parents we have no control over what kind of environment they are going to face at their workspace or wherever they go and stay and hence making sure that they are emotionally resilient is extremely important so i hope you like this video if you liked it please do like it share it forward it subscribe to my channel for more such parenting videos as a part of my pathways to positive parenting video series do let me know in the comments which of this one emotional resilient quality do you have in yourself and which of this does your child have in himself or herself i would love to read your comments and also reply to them